Hey guys, do it on a dime here. In this video, I wanna share with you my best tips for decluttering your closet, especially if you're like me and you play mind games with yourself and try to convince yourself to keep things you probably shouldn't be keeping in the first place. And fall is a great time for a closet refresh. I just cleaned out mine and you guys, it feels so good. So I hope that this video motivates you to get started. And for a quick refresh, find a place to sort your stuff. I like to make three piles, a donate pile, a toss pile, and a fix pile. Work systematically in your closet. I like to start on one side and work all the way around. This should not take that long. I did this entire project yesterday and it took less than 20 minutes. When you're doing this, the goal is speed. The faster you can move, the better. I just got rid of all of this stuff and it's gonna bless somebody else. This is kind of a reverse haul. If you haven't used an item in a year or more, it's definitely safe to get rid of it. Don't let what you used to love hold you back. Ask yourself, if I saw this item right now in the store, would I buy it? And for me, the answer for this shirt is a definite no. Have you ever looked back at an item that you donated and regretted it? I never have, and even if I had, how much would that item cost to replace? Probably next to nothing. If you're like me and you really struggle parting with things, try putting a halfway home in your closet. This is a place where you set items you're not sure you're gonna get rid of and you seal it up. Then after a few months, if you haven't opened up the box, you can rest assured you can get rid of that stuff and you're probably never gonna think about it again. Can we talk about guilt for a second? This is a Calvin Klein dress, it's a beautiful dress Dress, and this is a Victoria Secret swimsuit. The truth of the matter is I've needed to get rid of these things for a while, but I've held on to them because they're really nice. So a question you can ask yourself is does it fit me? Does it flatter me? And do I feel good in it? And that's really gonna help you distinguish what you should keep and what you should get rid of. If I'm being honest, in my head, I want this dress to flatter me, but when I put it on, it really doesn't. And this bathing suit has honestly never flattered me. I only wore it one time, which is kind of sad, but it's taking up space in my closet. And the great thing about it is when you get rid of stuff like this, the amazing pieces of your wardrobe start to stand out more because the clutter isn't distracting them. Also right now this is pending for sale on social media, so I'm going to make a few dollars off of this dress and get clutter out of my closet. It's a win-win. And then there's this. Don't judge me. And you don't just have to drop off your clothes at the thrift store. There's awesome organizations like Dress for Success that will take women's business and business casual clothes to help women who are getting back into the workforce after a hardship. So think about that and allow your clothes to be a blessing to somebody and it makes it a lot easier to get rid of stuff. Also consider getting all matching hangers in your closet. We get ours from Walmart, they're super inexpensive, but it helps the closet look really uniform and if you limit the amount of hangers, you limit the amount of items you can own. And don't feel like you have to live up to anybody else's standard of organized. Just because you see somebody have a capsule wardrobe of 30 items doesn't mean that has to work for you. I know that doesn't work for me. And maybe all you have is five minutes just to go in your closet and take out a few things. That's better than nothing. Remember, organizing isn't about being perfect. It's about swimming toward an easier way of life. And that's what this channel is all about. I hope that after watching this video, you feel motivated to tackle your closet, get more organized. Make sure to leave a comment down below and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.